All right, in today's video, let's check out something interesting. Now, here I've got this Logitech keyboard. This is a Bluetooth keyboard I have got here, and this has a touchpad or a trackpad as well. And then I have got this uh, phone stand over here. This is to keep the phone in landscape or portrait mode. I have got the Galaxy S22 Ultra here, uh, and I have turned on the landscape mode and i'm going to keep the phone on this stand right here okay now here is the otg adapter and i've got this connector for this bluetooth keyboard now let me just fix this onto the otg adapter and i will plug this in to the galaxy note 20 ultra and here it is now this bluetooth keyboard is active i can use the trackpad to move this mouse pointer around the screen i can tap on any application to open it i can use two finger gesture on the trackpad to move to the extreme right on the home screen or to the extreme left i am able to use some of these function keys as well on this phone now this is a mini computer we have got with a Bluetooth connected keyboard with touchpad. This is amazing, isn't it? I'm sure a lot of you guys would already know this, but for those of you who are new to Samsung or who are new to Android, this might help you to know how to connect your Bluetooth keyboard to your phone. Now doing this is of any use, it depends on you. If you are someone who would like to type a lot on MS Word file or on Samsung Notes, and if you prefer to use a keyboard, then this is what you can do. If you don't have a bigger monitor, this will definitely come in handy. You can probably buy a portable smaller keyboard and carry along with this phone. On the S22 Ultra, the screen real estate is really big. So we can make use of the screen real estate to get a better typing experience along with the keyboard. Now I'm sure some of you guys might be wondering whether you can connect a mouse simultaneously. Yes, you can, but you cannot use the same OTG cable. We just have got one slot. You can use a dock which will have multiple ports to which you can connect a mouse and a keyboard separately. Now, coming back to this keyboard, we can use some of these function key on the top. We've got back key, home key, recent applications key. I can see a music button which enables any of these music applications. And even the escape key works to go back to the home screen. So tapping on this Windows button will activate Google Assistant. That is fantastic, isn't it? Now let me just press on Alt button and Tab. As you can see, I will be able to switch between applications using Alt Tab button. Now let me just press Shift and Tab. As you can see, I am able to move to different tabs using Shift Tab buttons. So many of these buttons on the keyboard works with an Android phone. Now another question is whether this works only on Samsung Galaxy phones or it works on any other Android phones. So to experiment that, we have got this Google Pixel 7 Pro here. I have connected the keyboard using the same Samsung's OTG adapter. As you can see, it perfectly works fine like the Galaxy S22 Ultra. And again, here I'm able to use all those keys on the Pixel phone as well. Now you may be wondering why would you do this when you can do everything that you want on the phone using your hands. Again, I would like to reiterate that this is for those of you who do a lot of typing on uh, applications like MS Word, Samsung Notes or emails, you can use this feature. Now, what do you think about this feature on Android phones? Drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button if you find this video useful thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye